Thank you everybody for joining us today uh, for our webinar on streamlining your cloud journey with Insight and AWS around uh, Microsoft licensing. My name is Steve Kolarch. I'm one of the uh, AWS business development managers here at Insight. Uh, and I also have uh, Dave Brisebois uh, from Amazon uh, around the uh, optimization and licensing assessment team uh, over there. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, look forward to hopefully a, a great webinar. Uh, just to give you an idea around AWS and how it kind of plays out, right? Uh, part of the reason uh, we're seeing these is because AWS has tons of users, right? And growing extremely fast. Um, and as you can see here, uh, a million active users over 190 countries, right? And as I said, that number is growing extremely fast. Um, the biggest thing that I always say is uh, AWS is by far and away the cloud leader um, by a long shot, right? And that second point right there, uh, they have five times more infrastructure than their next 14 competitors combined uh, as far as being deployed, right? So they certainly have uh, tons of space, uh, tons of data centers, uh, and are doing it uh, more so than anybody else, right? And you can see some of these other things uh, that are on here, um, but uh, they certainly uh, dominate the public cloud market uh, is really what it works out to. Um, and then why do you want to run Microsoft on AWS, right? Um, AWS has the broadest and deepest capabilities of running Microsoft workloads for 14 years in the public cloud, right? So uh, nobody's done it better, even Microsoft, right? And even if you look at some of the things where there's more uh, Windows workloads running in AWS than in Azure or Google or any of those types of things, right? Uh, more security, performance and reliability, right? Um, TCO, AWS tends to be cheaper in overall when you look at both price and performance, right? And it's not as complex and there's flexible licensing options, which is exactly what we're here today to talk to you about, um, is some of the licensing options and what AWS calls the optimization and licensing assessment, which will help you figure out all of those licensing things. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna turn it over to Dave uh, to talk a little bit more about um, what AWS and the optimization and licensing assessment tend to look like. That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much, Steve. So my name is Dave Brisbois. Well, most people refer to me as Briz. Uh, my role within AWS is I get to spend a lot of time with partners and customers talking to them about how they're moving to the cloud. And, and really what I like about Insight and what we're going to talk about today is their approach, which is data driven. Speaking of data, if you look at this slide, this is something that I always find amazing is just that how much Windows and how many Windows virtual machines actually run on AWS. It, it, it's larger than our next two competitors combined. Uh, and that's really telling, I think. The other thing that I always like to point out, uh, Steve, you showed it is every Friday night, my boring life, I'm watching Netflix. I'm part of that group that's just chewing up all this internet that's coming from AWS. And I don't think a lot of people realize that AWS is powering Netflix's back end um, with, uh, with AWS Cloud. So, Let's talk about our clients, and, and, and today you've taken some time to from up with us, um, and on the next slide we're going to see is a lot of you guys have very similar um, challenges and, and objectives, and, and when I talk to customers today, always the first thing they mention is, you know, we're really trying to lower our costs, or they're going to try to increase their profitability. Those are somewhat connected, right? Everyone's trying to do more with less. You know, we want to be mean and lean. A lot of our customers are talking about becoming digital native or being able to innovate faster. And this usually starts with a, we're all in on the cloud conversation. Um, generative AI, machine learning, we always need to have this in every deck that we talk about. But this is a huge opportunity for a lot of our customers to accelerate their cloud uh, migration, but it's also a huge challenge. And the last thing is, we really want to help our customers, and I think a lot of our customers are trying to avoid lock-in around licensing. Um, they don't want to be put in a position where they can't make a really good decision because of a contract. Um, and I think customers are really cognitive of that now is that there's all, all these different models and they should really be investigating those, but it's complex. So these are what I think most customers are trying to achieve when they think about moving to the cloud or just generally what they're 
our objectives are. But there's challenges with this, right? I think the first one is a lot of our customers just don't know where to start. Um, they're, they're familiar with another vendor. They've spent time and years learning these other programs, and they just don't quite understand how to move to AWS. They don't understand the cost. Um, they don't understand actually what they have in their environment. Um, and, and that's where Insight really going to help you, and we're going to show you that today. They don't have that visibility to their workloads. Um, How does it perform? When's it performed? When we also think about this is, is a lot of customers are scared about compliance. We've mentioned licensing, right? Can't mention licensing without compliance. And I think a lot of our customers have, and your customers, have gone through experiences where they've gone through some type of software audit. So they always want to make sure that they're doing the right thing, right? They want to make sure they're avoiding those traps, um, but they also want to take advantage of those licenses that they've already purchased. How, I've made a huge investment in a database. How do I make sure that I don't just walk away with that? How do I reuse it? And that's where it really becomes about how do you optimize it, right? How do we optimize your storage? How do we make sure that when you move from your data center into the cloud, you're doing it in the most cost-effective manner possible? And that's complex, right? There's a lot of parts there. The other thing that I think a lot of our customers are thinking about today, and a lot of your customers, uh, is just these changes from Broadcom in their VMware licensing. Um, they need to understand how this affects you. And I think you guys are in a unique position as Insight to help them because you understand VMware, you understand the technology, you understand the licensing, you also understand the pathways. So you can really, and what you do today is you give them a really, or give our customers a really clear insight into um, their environment. So how does all this magic happen, right? And then when we look at the next slide, what we're going to see here is Insight's approach. And I really like this. As I mentioned, I spent a lot of time with partners. Um, and, and we really want partners to take it, look, uh, help our customers by looking at that customer's problems. Like, let's solve a business issue. So what Insight typically will do is they'll spend some time to understand what your business driver is. Are you trying to lower costs? Or do you have a renewal coming out? Do you have a VMware renewal? And you want to understand your options. They'll then do inventory and performance data. And this is what's great about this approach. Everything we're going to show you today is based on insight collecting data, insight looking at your performance data, looking at your storage, and understanding how are you truly using this. And the last thing that no one wants to do themselves is they're going to look at your licensing ownership. Right? They're going to understand what you can and can't do. And they're going to give you the advice on how to optimize it and use it. How do they do this? Well, the first thing they're going to do, they're going to use tools, right? They're going to either use your own data. They've got some great uh, tools themselves, or we can provide them some third-party tools, whatever you're most comfortable with. Sometimes it's with an agent. Sometimes it's not. It's really what you're comfortable with. That's their approach is let's get some data and do it in the easiest way possible. What I love is that they bring a lot of value by doing a partner analysis, and, and we're going to dive into that. I think a tool gets you so far but understanding the unique business drivers, the unique uh, circumstances of your ownership and your business, they can then give you a very great client-facing assessment, right? That's gonna show you your options, gonna show you your, your pathways. So what type of pathways are they gonna show you? Well, on the next slide, what we see is that they're gonna do a lot. So by taking your data center today and looking at your environment, they're going to now start mapping those legacy workloads. So these SQL servers or these servers and Windows servers that you've been running for decades that you're thinking about, how do I move those to the cloud? Well, they're going to show how you do it in an optimized way to move it to cloud native or to move it to multi-tenant. They're also going to look at your licensing and give you the right advice. With storage, well, with storage, what they're going to do is they're going to optimize your storage and put it in the right places. AWS has so many storage options because it's really purpose built. So they want to make sure that they're making the right recommendation for your storage. So if it's something that can't be used for seven years, where do we put it? Um, if it's something that's being used all the time, where do we put it? They're going to make sure that you're not spending more than you need to. With other clouds, if you're running today on a, um, a third-party cloud or another hypervisor, they're going to help you map those to AWS, help you understand what does your environment today look like on AWS, so you can make a decision on, is this the right place for me? Could I save more? Could I actually have some efficiencies? Could I take advantage of AWS's resiliency? And then finally, databases. And databases, and we think about Gen AI, storage and databases are just key, right? We need data and we need a database. So what they're going to do is they're going to optimize that licensing. So if you're in a legacy um, 
contract with a database provider or uh, another vendor, they're going to make sure that you're getting the right advice. You're reusing those licenses. They're going to show you some managed databases as well. Um, a lot of our customers are starting to look at managed databases as an option. We're going to make sure and Insight's going to make sure that you're seeing that in the right lens. And for some of our customers, their goal is to move away from legacy databases. Um, they want to move to cloud native open source databases, and that can be complex. And what's great, Insight has the technical knowledge of both AWS and databases that they can make the right uh, recommendation for the right platform and give you that pathway. So this is fantastic. We've sort of talked about these pathways, um, et cetera. So let's just dive a little deeper into their approach and specifically what Insight does. And once again, I think it's such a great offer because we've got all these different pieces uh, of Insight that come together to help you make decisions. So the first thing is data. And I've talked about discovery and inventory. This is critical. Understanding the actual performance, the actual usage helps us make actual decisions. This is really tool, right? So in a tool, we'll take that data, they're gonna to put together some generic reports. You've all seen this, AWS has tools that can help you with this as well, but what it lacks is knowledge. And that's what Insight brings to the table, is knowledge and experience to understand what's that tool saying, how does it apply to your business objectives, how does it apply to your licensing, so that they can give you very clear actions on bill of material, they can show you a business case, and identify what's that next step. Do we need to go deeper? Do we need to go into uh, an assess to understand your business is ready? Or do we, should we just go to a proof of concept and move uh, uh, a workload AWS and start off with that? They're going to give you the right option and they're going to show you the funding that they have access to as one of our premier partners to make those decisions. So how do they optimize costs? So how does this knowledge comes into place? And this is what I think is really unique in their in Insights history, right? One of the pretty much the largest vendor for all software companies, right? The first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna get that hardware information, right? What are all the servers? What type of servers are you running? What are the OSs? What's the patch level, et cetera? They're then going to understand the performance. And I think we all understand why performance is important in the cloud. And why it's important here is that we want to understand, does that SQL server run really hard on a Thursday, but the rest of the week it's you know not running at all? Are there certain workloads that spin up at the end of the month? Do we actually need this many cores? Um, so understanding performance helps us map to AWS in the most cost-effective way. And then finally, they look at contracts. Um, what can you use? What can't you use? What are the terms and conditions? So when we combine all these things together, it's about making that move to AWS in the most optimized way. I'm going to date myself here a bit, but I sometimes think of my first cell phone, convince my parents, you know, $70 a month, I can afford this Nokia flip phone. And I thought it was pretty cool, used it all the time. Then I got a huge bill because I only had so many minutes, right? Today, everything's all you can eat. But back then, you actually had to pay for usage. What Insight does is they want to avoid that first bill by optimizing before you actually get here and showing you how to reuse those assets. When we dive into this a little deeper and we go a little level, another level down on the next side, what we see is by taking that information from you, your data, your business drivers, um, your actual um, uh, utilization, and what you're trying to achieve they're then able to focus the assessment. The first thing they're gonna do and where they have cost savings, can we reduce CPUs? So a lot of times we build machines um, and we have lots of cores in them because we need lots of memory. Um, and, and the reason that's important on AWS is Insight's gonna recommend turning off cores where the memory is sufficient to meet your needs, which reduces your cost of licensing. So they're not just looking at your AWS cost, they're looking at your total cost, your existing licensing plus AWS. Can I lower one so that we can save money on the total picture? They're gonna look at your licensing today. What do you own? What can be moved to AWS? And they're gonna look at SQL Server. Do you need the enterprise version? Could you use standard? Could you use a combination of AWS uh, services and standard to get what you need? Next is getting into technical performance. And that's where this assessment once again is unique is that we need people like Steve that are really smart on AWS, but we need people that understand licensing. We combine these two. 
So the first thing they're going to look at, all right, have you over provisioned for the peak, right? Have we built for the worst day ever where we should really be building for every day? They're going to look for overutilized, underutilized resources. So do we have zombie servers that aren't really doing much? Can we consolidate databases, um, right? So really looking at this from a unique point of view. And then they're going to look at your outdated hardware. Right, so perhaps you have older storage or you have older um, servers. Can we actually move those to AWS? And a lot of times when we look at older hardware, we think we're saving money by running that compact server for 10 years. It's got lots of cores, means lots of licensing. We can get better performance from smaller instance sizes. They're gonna map that to you. So once again, it's most cost effective and there's no surprises. And finally, they put together that, that result, right? They're going to give you this optimized cloud um, uh, assessment. They're going to show you lower consumption and where to save on licensing costs. So I've talked a lot about what Insight does and how they do it. So what does it actually look like? Um, and what we're looking to look at today is um, an actual customer uh, engagement that they've done. And, and you know, we've obviously uh, blacked out some things. I think the term is redacted. Um, so we redacted some of this just so you can get an understanding. But here they're going to give you a great summary, right? They get right to the point of what's the most cost effective way? What are you spending on licenses? Um, where are we saving you money? Um, so this is a great executive level report. It's going to give you some options, show you how you save money. They then dive even deeper, right? So then they get into licensing optimization. So we're showing you your AWS costs, but on the next slide, what we see is licensing optimization, right? So they're going to talk about how do you license SQL? They're Microsoft licensing experts. They know this really well. Um, they're going to talk about um, underutilized resources, um, and they're going to talk about how to consolidate um, uh, BCPUs to reduce licensing. So in this example, we're giving the customer very prescriptive advice on how to move to AWS in the most cost-effective way, which sometimes is a two-step process, right? Sometimes we move to AWS, we're pretty much optimizing a little, we're running that environment on AWS. And what Insight's great, and we're not going to talk about too much today, is modernization. Um, the next step of what they'll do and help you on your journey is, how do I move away from this legacy software and technology and now move to cloud native, um, move to Linux, containers, serverless, et cetera, all that great stuff. Um, so license optimization, pretty, uh, pretty important. We've talked about the summary. They're also going to give you a workbook, right? And the workbook, we're not going to share the full thing for you today, but the workbook really starts to show you uh, a tool that's customized for you. It's going to show you all those instances, what they're recommending, um, the financial impacts of that, and what you can or can't bring um, with BYOL. So the workbook gives you the actual information. And in this scenario, you can see they're recommending a dedicated host. Sometimes dedicated hosts are the most cost-effective way to get to AWS. And if that meets your business um, objective, they're going to recommend that and tell you how to do this in a way that it becomes cheaper than running it in a multi-tenant environment. So I love that they're going to give you these options and review with them, uh, review with you um, those specific options. As we move through their report, you know, we get to the point where they're going to give you the re recommended financials, right? So this is all the options that they've talked about, um, and they're going to give you what they think is the best solution, right? And they're going to talk about why it's the best solution. They're going to help you map it. And at this point, they're going to probably help you move to the next step, which is um, proof of concepts, et cetera. So in the last slide, what we're going to see is that is that summary, right? It's a bit of an executive summary. We watch you through all the great data that they're going to um, collect for you and then build your report. And they give you um, a, a very detailed scenario. So this benefits you in a lot of ways. So we, we've shown you, you know, TCO, but from a planning perspective, it's going to give you discovery. Perhaps you have discovery today. Great. We'll use your data. Insight can use it. If you don't or you want to double check it, they're going to look at that. They're going to help you understand the performance, right? This is a paid per horsepower type of scenario. They're going to review those contracts. That alone is pretty valuable. But then they give you visibility. And what I love about Insight is that it's a database objective in, um, assessment, meaning that Everything they show you, all their recommendations are based on what's best for you, 
based on the data. They're going to show you how to leverage those existing agreements. They're going to give you an exit plan on how to move away from contracts and move to sort of a, a cloud subscription model, all fact-based. This leads to better migrations. They're going to show you what your roadmap looks like. You're going to have a lower migration cost. You're going to have a faster migration because we've taken the pains of that huge bill away by making sure that we're doing it right. And if you're interested and your, your roadmap is really thinking about modernization, they're going to have these modernization conversations. When we look at, because sometimes I think most of you are saying, well, what's the actual cost savings? So this is um, uh, looking at about 3,000 assessments that we've done. Um, what are the cost savings? Well, the first thing is around Windows Server, 77% licensing reduction, 45% reduction in SQL licensing. That's a significant cost savings. What I like about this, 98% of you already own the licensing. You need to run that workload on AWS. You just need to do it in the most cost-effective way. That's what Insights can help you with. We also have reductions in CPU if you were looking at Oracle. Um, so we can help you reduce your licensing and support costs. Um, if you're looking to run Oracle, we've got great options there as well. And then storage. And this number really hits home is 80% savings when we optimize your storage. And a lot of customers and a lot of our other partners are just saying EBS, EBS, EBS. We wanna make sure that we're giving you the right solution based on that workload. And that's what this data-driven approach that Insights develop is fantastic. If you're looking to run NetApp on top, they're gonna to be able to do that. So I've talked about a lot about how this benefits you. Um, and I've talked about you know a lot about how Insights pretty fantastic at doing this, right? Um, so let's talk about um, Insight specifically. So um, Steve, I, I think you guys have a great history with AWS. Perhaps we can dive uh, into that a little. Yeah, absolutely, David. Thank you uh, for that and for the first part. And as you said, we do have a great history uh, with AWS. And um, so this kind of explains it in a nutshell, right? We are an advanced, uh, sorry, we are a premier tier AWS partner. Uh, which is the top level partnership uh, that AWS offers. Uh, there's 65 of them in the US, 160 or so worldwide. Um, so we have four competencies uh, specifically around uh, migration services, right? Uh, everything that we've talked about today has been uh, around you know, licensing and assessments around licensing and all of those uh, and the ability for us to uh, take that and then create a good migration plan like Dave was talking about and so on, right? That's all part of it. And we've demonstrated to AWS uh, that we can do that, right? The other thing is that that migration competency also has, uh, opens up funding and those types of things, uh, programs that AWS has to be able to uh, offset some of the costs if uh, certain prior, certain requirements are needed and those are met and those types of things, right? We do have a, a Windows Server uh, AWS competency as well. Um, so window Microsoft workloads. Um, so you can certainly see that, right? We've done data centers for 25 years and then some, um, you can see all of our certifications and so on. So, um, we do have a program, which we call insight cloud care. Um, this is how, uh, that tends to, uh, shake out, right? Uh, at insight, uh, you get everything that you would get in an, uh, traditional AWS uh, direct relationship and then some, uh, right? We provide all of our customers the uh, Cloud Checker cost management tool. Uh, it's a third party uh, tool owned by NetApp. Um, if you went and bought it, you'd pay typically anywhere between three and 5% of your monthly spend to uh, NetApp to use the tool. Uh, we provide it to you at no cost to pick up that uh, for you. And then we also provide you with a cloud success manager who will have a regular conversation, typically uh, monthly, sometimes quarterly, uh, around what you are seeing in Cloud Checker, what they're seeing in Cloud Checker, making recommendations on how you can actually uh, optimize your spend and those types of things, but then also uh, leveraging insights uh, overall services capabilities to maybe talk about what your next project is going to be and how we can actually uh, get you to the end of that project, right? So uh, certainly uh, a lot here that we do. And then the other thing is uh, typically uh, with Insight, you may have uh, terms, uh, net terms for payment and those types of things. You can leverage that 
uh, as opposed to in a lot of situations with AWS directly, which is a, a credit card billing model. So uh, certainly things uh, to be able to help you out. And at no point do you lose anything in your AWS relationship. So if you already have an account manager, great. That person uh, will still remain in place and we actually uh, all work together to help you out uh, even more. So it's just an additional layer of uh, capabilities and services and things like that that we can provide. Uh, Mention some of the services things that we can offer you guys. Um, we do have uh, what we call packaged offerings. These tend to be things that we do most often uh, and they are foundational. Uh, things around, you know, migration, setting up landing zones to migrate into, uh, right? Those types of things. Uh, but we do also have, you can see assessments like what Dave talked about, the licensing assessment, uh, the map assessments, right? So a few other things there. But then we do also have uh, what I call custom statements of work around our professional services uh, in our additional capabilities, right? So uh, there's a lot of things that we can do around AWS. There's so many, I couldn't put them all onto, uh, you know, this one particular slide, uh, but uh, just kind of understand that we do have a significant uh, base as far as what we can do from a professional standpoint or professional services standpoint. Uh, and then the other thing, uh, second from the bottom, we do offer fully managed AWS. Uh, if you are looking for, uh, just to be a consumer of your AWS environment and not have to worry about things like, you know, firewall rules, path management, did my backup run properly or did it fail, right? Any of those types of things, we can do all of that for you. Um, we're gonna ensure that uh, everything is available 24 by seven, uh, right? We're gonna manage everything on those workloads, make sure it's all up to date, performance is there, uh, all of that, and it's all gonna be proactive management. Um, we are gonna make sure that everything is properly protected and inspected, uh, architected properly from a, a well-architected standpoint and all of those types of things, uh, right? And then we're gonna provide you with all of that control and everything else uh, from a cost standpoint as well that we normally do. Um, the other thing that Insight does is we do AWS marketplace transactions. So uh, if you're looking to purchase uh, things on the AWS marketplace, we do have the ability to uh, assist you there. Um, we are what they call a consulting partner, private offer partner. Um, and that allows us to negotiate uh, private offer contracts on the AWS marketplace for a specific set of vendors uh, so that you can purchase them uh, typically at a, a discounted rate because they typically tend to be larger scale uh, types of purchases. Um, but we become your single point of contact for that um, and we negotiate that contract so you don't have to, right? So if you're looking at making large purchases, thinking things like CrowdStrike, Splunk, uh, Rapid7, um, Trying to think what else. Salesforce, I think we've done recently, right? There's a whole boatload of them. I think there's about 200 plus, um, but we can certainly uh, assist you there, right? If you have a, a enterprise discount program, EDP or private pricing agreement, PPA in place, uh, there's a burn down that can happen there. Uh, and we can certainly help you take advantage of uh, the AWS marketplace so that you can uh, get the advantages of that burn down on your committed spend, right? If you're just looking to streamline your purchasing, AWS Marketplace is a great opportunity uh, to be able to go ahead and, and do that as well. And as I said, we can certainly help you. Um, if you're interested in talking to us, uh, how do you get in contact with us? What's the next steps? Uh, it's very simple. We have a team alias. Uh, we're all separated out in a number of different ways. We have about 17 sellers and about 13 or 14 technical people, um, pre-sales technical people to assist you, uh, right? So the easiest way is to just send over an email to the AWS team at insight.com email address. Um, and then what we will do is we will uh, find the proper person that covers your account, uh, get you in contact with that person to start these types of conversations, get you into uh, talking with some of our pre-sales technical resources and hopefully uh, getting you going on a, a licensing assessment so that you can uh, safely and cost effectively migrate into AWS uh, without any questions or any of those types of things if you did the right thing. So um, with that being said, we look forward to working with you. We thank you for the time today. Um, and as I said, look forward to working with you on your AWS journey.